So I think that science um, replaced religion in, uh, in Western countries uh, a few centuries ago in, in, uh, in making sense of the world. So I have a very important uh, position now. Uh, but in fact, by replacing religion, somehow it became also a religion. So I, I think that we are more or less in a situation where science is a religion. So it is why uh, it is so difficult to uh, criticize uh, science, because it is not only a taboo, but it is a sacrilege, exactly as you can ask sacrilege in any religion. Uh, because we deeply uh, think that um, a better knowledge will solve everything and we allow us to construct a wonderful, sustainable society. So, clearly, research creates less damage directly than uh, corporations. But, on the other hand, it provides the technical tools to corporations to allow to do more damage. Uh, you can see how uh, efficient is the possibility to extract uh, fossil energy now with respect to one century ago. It is thanks to the scientific and technical knowledge that we are able to do that, so to increase the damage to Earth. Um, and I think that also uh, this provide, science uh, provides an indirect uh, damage because it uh, provides a very strong AEB to allow short-term damage because it provides also the unjustified guess that research will provide long-term solution to the short-term damage. But this is clearly an unjustified guess. And in fact, to make uh, damage acceptable society, corporations are using science and in fact are funding science as a way to allow damage, short-term damage. And it is typically the case in Canada for the moment, for instance, for exporting oil from Alberta to Europe through Quebec, or for uh, exporting oil in, um, in the Great North, in the Arctic regions. Uh, so they are currently funding science as a political argument to allow damage. So, I'm not expert in, uh, in conservation biology, so I think that psychology is already uh, included, at least in part. Uh, but clearly, I think that uh, conservation of a given species cannot be uh, successful without major change in many aspects of human society. So, I think that conservation biology can only succeed if we have um, an holistic uh, approach of uh, conservation science. Uh, so uh, I think that it is not completely uh, unknown, but I think we should put much more emphasis on this aspect, but uh, on the technical aspect. No, I don't think so, because the economic interest is not sufficiently obvious uh, and the benefits are only on the long run, so in contradiction with the short-term uh, economic interest. I think nothing. <laughs> I tried to do that since uh, many years, uh, and I, can, I was able to reduce my personal uh, environmental footprint but uh, unable to decrease my uh, scientific footprint. And in fact, uh, I do increase my scientific footprint. <coughs> so uh, I don't think that individually we can do something, um, except by uh, some uh, reducing or traveling or something like this, but this will have a very, very minor impact. So I think really we need a global solution. <laughs>